So we've done a few speed rebuilds this year on Madden 24, and you know, some you guys really liked, some of them you guys didn't really care for, and I figured if I'm going to be bringing them back, we should definitely start out with a bigger challenge than normal, which is why we're going to be doing a fantasy draft speed rebuild, which means that 10 minutes that we normally get to make trades is going to be used to make draft picks, and then if we decide, okay, we've got three minutes left, let's sim it so we can make more trades afterwards, all of that time is going to be connected. I have no idea if I'm going to need to adjust this for the future or even for this video or if 10 minutes is like the perfect amount of just like, come on, hurry up, that we're looking for. Of course, I've also thought about doing multiple season speed rebuilds where maybe you start out with 20 minutes and you have three to five seasons or something to try to build a team. The problem is there's so many sim points that... I don't know when the clock would go. Obviously, the clock wouldn't go. We were looking at, like, the stats and awards or something. But, you know, the moment free agency hits, and then we decide, okay, we're, we're going to be looking through the players. Oh, we don't want anyone. And then it stops. And then how does the draft work? Like, do I get to scout unlimited time? I'm not really sure. But there, there's some things in there that, that need to be worked out. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that. But long story short, we're going to be doing a speed rebuild of the Detroit Lions. However through the fantasy draft. So obviously if we have like pick 16, I have to hurry up and grab like, I don't know, Jamar Chase or something. But I will have my uh, updated fantasy draft guide on the side as it, you know, it's helpful, definitely helps. And uh, with that being said, it's going to be a challenging one. This is going to be a challenging one. Uh, regardless, if you guys like this idea, you want to see more speed rebuilds in the future, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new, we do a ton of franchise stuff, rebuilds obviously included, and then, uh, maybe follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care, Second Channel, PK Plays for now, Madden content, but that is about it. Without further ado, that I clearly didn't have to reload into this because they have it on fixed instead of snake, here it is, 3, 2, 1, and go. I, that happened the first time as well, we have pick 16 uh, what do you have at pick 16? I guess the clock resuming doesn't really matter because we can't spend that much time on these picks anyways. Uh, I think CJ Stroud. Do you think you need a quarterback? Obviously. And sure, we could make a trade, but I think CJ Stroud is, uh, worth the pick. I don't know if he goes in the first round, but I imagine he comes very close to it. Uh, now in the second round, what the hell do we want in the second round? Uh, edge rushers? I might even look at my, uh, list. It is a one-year thing as well, so we can draft whoever we want, I'm going to be just drafting whoever I think is the best available player at that time. It doesn't have to be, you know, a young player by any means. What about, like, running back? Christian McCaffrey would be great. I do want uh, running back pretty early in this one. I think the best available is either going to be Chris Jones or one of the edge rushers. Khalil Mack might stick around a little bit. So I'm going to go with Chris Jones here uh, as our, our second pick. Uh, I guess I didn't need to take CJ Stroud now that I think about it. But at the same time... You still can progress, so I think, you know, the options were about fair for us anyways. Khalil Mack is still there. Would he still be there another round? Do we go Travis Kelsey here? I don't really know about that. Wide receiver, DeAndre Hopkins. Oof. Maybe we should have went wide receiver. Nick Chubb. Um, The clock is kind of ticking here. Olave... This feels like a reach, but I'm going to take Olave. Once again, like I said, you can take any player, that, you know, whatever age they are. But at the same time, if they're only going to be a couple overalls different, I might as well go with the youth for the chance to develop throughout the season to become a higher overall anyways. Uh, is Mac still there? Mac is gone. Clowney is there. Von Miller is there. I mean, maybe he'll be here another round, though. Do I want to grab running back this early? Derek Henry, Derek Henry, I'm trying to think. Oh, Josh Jacobs, he's always a god in sim, actually. Josh Jacobs, that's the guy. Every single sim I've seen lately, he's put up like 1,700 plus yards every single time, uh, which makes sense because he, you know, breaks a lot of tackles. But pass rusher, did we leave it too long? Von Miller? Von Miller's still there. The problem is on my perfect fantasy draft guy, I didn't really think about it. I don't have him on my list because why would you draft someone as old as him in a fantasy draft guide? So, you know, I... I it's kind of throwing me off a little bit. Tight end, David and Joku. I think you can pretty much roll with any tight end, though. Um, do we just go Von Miller? I don't know when Von goes, but I want an elite pass rusher. So Von Miller is going to be my choice. What round was this? Four? Five? Three minutes gone already. We've made five selections. Okay, we got to hurry this up then. Because we're going to have to just sim at some point. Darius Williams. Free safety, Micah Hyde. Tyron Matthew. That's not a bad pick. Might even play corner for us. Boom. 
Might even have been better off just letting the AI draft for us, but obviously they would draft, you know, not the best players at times. Sometimes they don't take the best players. Tight end Waller is there. David Bakhtiari. Is it really that important to have a tackle, though? I don't know. Uh, DeForest Buckner probably fits a little bit more into many schemes rather than uh, Reader, so we're going to go with the DT, DeForest Buckner. And, of course, the moment I decide I'm going to sim, I'm like, okay, that's good enough for me. That is the moment that we will stop the clock to let, uh, you know, things happen. Nico Collins. I think we can do better than Nico Collins, but just in case we can't, I'm going to take him. Once again, if we're going to save a little bit of time for a trade, we can make a trade for, you know, that position if we want. Corner, free safety. Uh, what's McKinney? He's a 85 overall. What about middle linebacker? Bobby Wagner is an 88 overall. That's not bad. We're kind of kind of looking not so great. I guess we'll go Cameron Jordan here, get ourselves another edge rusher. Going to be playing that 4-3, of course. Four minutes gone already. I'd like to probably get to at least round 15, maybe. Uh, we already got a quarterback. We have our wide receivers. Tight end. Uh, sh we could probably wait a little bit longer. Taylor Decker, left tackle. I'd imagine the higher overall the line, the better the you know sim you get. We don't have all of our DTs just yet. Left out, man. We really sold a linebacker. I'm gonna go Bobby Wagner for the overall. I'm gonna. We have a little mix of age and youth in here. Definitely feel like we could have done a little bit better though at some positions. Cornerback. Oh man, corner is a problem. Safety. Harrison Smith, one-year player. That's fine by me. So Harrison Smith, welcome. This is like the ultimate old man squad. Ernest Jones gets taken there. At least three more spots. Is Quay Walker there still? He's got to be long gone, right? It's a guy that develops pretty quickly, but no, he's not going to be there. Tackle will clap. Ryan Jensen's there still. Could kind of cheese this, grab like Corey Lindsley and Ryan Jensen because they're both like rather old centers, so they're not being valued as high. Move them around the line a little bit. Five minutes left. The clock is... It's starting to slow down a little bit, at least. I feel like, uh, you know, before I was really rushed, and I'm still rushed to hell, but I feel like we're doing a good job. But you got to remember, we have draft picks we have to use, so we have to at least give ourselves three or four minutes. So we're probably going to just get these last two picks in and then just call it uh, tight end. Ooh, we did not do well for ourselves. Uh, I guess Noah Fant. No, 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 no. Not Noah Fant. Jake Ferguson's a little bit better, I think. He's, he's like, slower. But he's younger, and he's two overalls higher. So we're going to go with Jake Ferguson. Might even trade him to get more value a little bit later. Uh, or not later, but just get new players. Uh, and we're going to do one more selection here. Uh, any decent players? Connor Williams is actually pretty good still. Morgan Moses. Oh, Zeitler. Actually, I'm going to go Zeitler, Morgan Moses, and Connor Williams, and then pause the draft. Man, it takes so long for these picks to actually like go, though. I feel so rushed. We have four minutes left. I'm, I'm running low on the time that I thought I was going to have. Uh, oh, no. Do the guys go? Connor Williams is still there. I'm going to grab Connor Williams. and I'm stopping the clock right about now. So no more draft picks for us. We're moving to the end of the draft. So we got 16, 17 picks in, what, four or six minutes? And we really went fast. So that proves those regular fantasy drafts, they take a lot longer than that because I'm, you know, looking at the players on my list and I'm looking through the league and I'm like, okay, I'm kind of planning for the future. This one, I'm like, give me the first player you've got. Thank you. So we do have to see the team that they, you know, kind of filled out for us uh, after the fact. We got ourselves a really good quarterback. I don't know what these other linemen look like, but we've got three really good linemen. Our tight end's a little iffy. Wide receiver could use an upgrade, but we could just roll with what we got. Then defensively, that's going to be where a big problem is. Uh, we do have to move to that 4-3. We got Bobby Wagner. Uh, we got the safety set. So we really, really need corner. So if we're looking at what we need, linebacker, corner, everything else I can live with. And then offensively, an upgraded wide receiver and a couple of O-line would definitely go a long way. The other unfortunate problem is I don't know where anyone is. So I'm probably going to have to go through the manage roster option. And uh, what draft picks do we even have? Do we have... Some good draft picks. Two-thirds. Okay, we can live with that. But yeah, we're going to go through the roster for this. And uh, yeah, we're going to uh, be starting the clock up in three, two, one, and so yeah, we're going to start this clock up in three, two, one, and go. Like we said, we really need a cornerback. So we are going to be going for one. Uh, Jalen Ramsey, Sauce, Garner, any older guys, Darius Slay should be a decent option for us. Even if it costs us like a first-round pick, I'm going to do it because we are desperate there. 
Uh, let's start off with a second round pick, though, just in case, because he is on the older side. Wow. We might actually have to go, like, star dev. I can, I can kind of see why this, uh, you know, the fantasy drafts, they usually go with him because the value is high. Kendall Fuller, he is always, like, just thrown to the side. Let's see if we can land him. 88 overall. Should be able to. Uh, we need O-line as well still. I don't want to get rid of my, like, only starter there. Oh, we have Connor Williams as well. We only need, like, one lineman at best. And why are these players so valuable? Is it just because it's a fantasy draft? Fantasy draft team just goaded, I guess. Also, I did forget we usually play on easy for trades, but whatever. We're in the long haul now. We are in the long haul now. And there it is. So it took us a lot to get fuller, but we did get fuller. Uh, anyone else? Like another lower name. What about Stefan Gilmore is a superstar? That's not going to happen. Xavier Howard, that's like a slight upgrade. With two and a half minutes left, I might as well try to get him, I guess. Two seconds, and then maybe we trade off like Byron. Very uh, fitting trade. Not going to happen, but it's close. We are still upgrading, even though it's taking us a long time to do this. Oh, my lord. Stop being dumb. Two minutes left. We can't take these picks with us. Can't take your draft picks with you when you die. That's what Grandma always said. Uh, Demario is not going to go easily. Bobby's on our team. Maybe I shouldn't have even went, Bobby, because you could have just traded for him. Shaq Thompson. Let's try Shaq Thompson. A little bit of an upgrade. Why not? Not the best upgrade, but at this point, it's like basically draft picks. I don't know our team well enough to be able to be like, hey, let's trade all these different guys off. Oh, my. Really? It costs this much to get Shaq. That's crazy. I know we're, like, futuring. We're showing, like, a lot of the future, but... Like, this is a lot. Ebikidi, come on. There you go. All right, a minute and a half left. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know what we need. Was it one more lineman, I suppose? Any, like, really old guys? Can we get Morgan Moses after all? Sorry, Morgan. Just kind of crapped on you. Yeah, just uh, just a really old ancient dude, if you don't mind. Uh, we don't have a lot to trade here, though. What about the rest of our Olan? Elimineur. I don't even know that's how you say his name, but it sounds cool, so that's what I did. And we could use one more linebacker. I think we're going to use a first-round pick on a linebacker. Uh, do you want Troy Hill? Please be enough. We only have a minute left. Please! Troy Hill and Alfred. We have... Oh, crap. We can't do it. We have... Oh, we still have extra picks there. Okay, boom. That's easy. Easy clap. 50 seconds left. Less than that. 40 seconds. We need a linebacker. Uh, boo, 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 boo. High Smith. Oh, High Smith's a pass rusher. I'm panicking. I am panicking. Milano, that's that's our guy. I don't know if we're gonna get him though. And I hit stats and awards. I actually hit stats and awards. And now I gotta find him again. Twenty seconds left. The clock is ticking. It's so slow. All right, we have. Oh, we have two first round picks. We're chilling. Let's uh, do one more player. Wide receiver. Please tell me they have a good one. I mean, if I can get Gabe Davis, I'm going to take him. Okay, I guess we're just taking Matt Milano. No shots. I'm going to count it. No, that's allowed. That's really loud. I'm going to allow it because what in the actual F does EA think they're doing? This is why we usually play on easy. Because two first round picks for Milano? Are you crazy? Are you on the crack? I forgot about Charles Leno. That's sweet. Well, we have extra linemen. All right, let's take a look what that squad looks like. Overall is 89. Okay, not terrible. Uh, center and left guard are great. Right guard's great, I suppose, as well. Right tackle, solid left tackle. Maybe you could argue Connor Williams at the left tackle starting spot, but whatever. Leno's an actual left tackle. Receivers, definitely lacking. But Olave with Jacobs is enough talent on offense for CJ Stroud to work his magic. And then you look at the defensive side of things. Obviously, there's a lot of age here. But this is a really good defense. I mean, there's nobody under an 84 overall starting. And you take away Shaq, and there's no one under an 86 overall starting. So this is pretty damn good of a squad. 89 overall, I imagine, is like 5 to 7 higher than like the next highest team. <clears throat> I would say 89 is probably the very max. But I'm kind of curious anyways. 84, 84, 84. So 84 is like the average. Got a couple of teams sneaking out in 85, like the Steelers. Um, 85 with the Chargers. We are going to be running the Chiefs playbook on offense, Bills on defense, kind of like the go-to when you must win. And then obviously you can see us, we're the outliers at 89. So we are the best team, 
But will we win the Super Bowl? DJ Stroud with a plus three to throw under pressure. I mean, for the speed rebuilds, I'm going to allow, like, breakouts and all that because we are still, you know, choosing some players based on potential. Like, CJ Stroud, 80 overall, but higher potential than, you know, 84 overall Kirk Cousins, which is why, you know, I take that chance at the younger player when they're a little lower just for that chance of maybe they reach the same overall or higher by the playoffs. So we had a really good start, and then we just fell off a cliff. But we will still be in the playoffs, and that's all that matters. One last hurrah. This could be literally half the damn roster. But you would imagine this is, I'm trying to think. I'm not looking at the screen. Uh, Cameron Jordan, Bobby Wagner, Von Miller. Oh, I forgot about him. I forgot about him. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could, pretty, like I said, could have done that for pretty much anyone in the squad. But Von Miller is the man, if you will. Number one in yards, I don't know about touchdowns, but C.J. Stroud had a pretty good season, it would appear. Uh, like I said, really good start, but man, losing three of the last five is pretty brutal, but it was a tough division in general. You'd seen the Packers and the Bears both making the playoffs, I would imagine, you know, with their records that they had. Let's take a look at the rest of the team, though. C.J. Stroud could have won MVP, 38 touchdowns, 7 interceptions, 4,200 yards, rushing Jacobs. Not the numbers I was expecting, but still very good. Olave was amazing. Ferguson was great. This is why, you know, I don't know if it's the overall of the player or the, you know, actual performance of the player that gives you a better chance to win. I'm not really sure. But uh, Nico Collins, basically useless in this. You almost never see him develop, in fairness. But, uh, yeah, some pretty good uh, numbers from the inside. And then Leno obviously wasn't the best, but he's a tackle. That's just what's going to happen in Sim. Von Miller was amazing. Chris Jones was pretty good. DeForest Buckner and Jordan, though, pretty iffy. This would be, like, one of the biggest defensive fronts ever, too. Because um, look at the weight. 310, 295, and 287. Obviously, Von Miller's uh, on the skinnier side. But Xavier Howard and Kendall Fuller combining for 10 picks is, you know, one of the best duos I've seen. Bryce Hall, two. Matthew, two. And uh, Smith and Rowe, the safeties, with one each. Elliott missing three out of 12 kicks is not the best. Anger, 53.2 punt, you know, you know, yards per punt is amazing. Kick return, punt return game, not much going on there. But did we win MVP? CJ Stroud style. We did not. Jared Goff. I've got to see those numbers. Did he put up like 800 rushing? There's no way. Patrick Mahomes of the Bears. Oh, Lord. Of course, Caleb Williams, you know, Caleb Williams could be the guy. But that has been a lingering thought on Bears fans' minds for how many years now? Von Miller, Defensive Player of the Year. CJ Stroud, Rookie of the Year. Defensive Rookie of the Year, not even on the list. Best QB number two. Best running back number one, surprisingly. Olave at number two. O-line at number 8 and 9, uh, D-line at number 1, 6, and that's it. Linebacker not on the list, DB at number 2 and 3. Kicker definitely not on the list as he was terrible, but I got to see these numbers from Mr. Jared Goofball. Uh, of course, great passing numbers, but rushing 645 yards with 6 touchdowns. I will say, in fairness, I've seen a lot more from Lamar, which makes sense, but... Maybe they do factor in the QB ratings a tiny bit, but 645 is still wild. Put it in perspective, the most yards he's ever had in his career in a singular season is 108. Through his, how many years is this? Eight years playing, he has under the number he just had with the Ravens. He has 495. That is crazy. That is actually crazy. But you know what? Speaking of the Rams, uh, we are in it. We are in the playoffs. We're gonna we're gonna see if this team, which we did put a lot of work into, is good enough. I actually thought that went pretty well. I actually thought you know this is this idea actually kind of worked out. I thought maybe we needed more time. Maybe it was gonna be too easy. Maybe it was gonna be impossible because usually after a fantasy draft, it's hard to trade for things because or players because you know the teams already just drafted everyone they basically wanted uh, for the most part. But um, Considering we also forgot to put the trades on easy, which is what we've decided is the smartest move uh, in speed rebuilds, because trading, like you've seen with Matt Milano, two first-round picks for an 87 overall star to have 29-year-old off-ball, uh, you know, you usually go with that because it's really hard to trade for players. But we didn't, and we still landed a really good team that has won against the Rams to head on to the divisional round. Um, looking at Lave, 140 yards, one touchdown. It's getting dry up in here again. It's not even peak summer. It's not even actual summer. It's... Pray for me. I don't know what it is. I just get cotton eye Joe mouth, and it just... You know, I've got to play that awkward, you know, 
Techno. One last hurrah. Two more wins, and we're in the Super Bowl. The guys are rallying around Vaughn and ready to win it all for him. Yeah, I mean, we'll take it. You know, in these speed rebuilds, it's nice to have a uh, an older name like that because you get this morale boost when it comes playoff time. Divisional, it could still be some of the best, you know, same teams as we're used to, like the Cowboys, but not in this one. It is the Falcons who are eight whole overalls under us. Oh, crap. I just kind of double-tapped A and... Oh, whatever. Wait, do we not? So how does that work there? Because I'm pretty sure in a Bison's franchise episode, uh, we got a, we left a seventh round. I'm proud of us. I am proud of us for being that, I wouldn't say stingy, but that greedy. Um, but we got like a plus 10, plus 10. So I'm not really sure where a plus 12 comes from. I don't know. But either way... The one thing we know is you're going against the Falcons on the road in the playoffs. And maybe I could have checked their team or something like that, but uh, yeah, that's that's a little bit too filler for me. You know, I I watched The Walking Dead for like I don't even know eight seasons or so. I know I know filler when I see it. All right, uh, and I'm kind of an expert at it now. Uh, but 24 to zero, really good stuff. 31 to zero, and wow, they finally scored some points. But we are headed on. To the championship round. Could it be the Cowboys? Could it be anyone but the Cowboys? Aaron Rodgers with the Falcons. Decent numbers with CJ Stroud, you know, being accurate. But the rushing touchdowns stole the show. No passing touchdowns, really, relatively. Um, some pretty good weapons there. At least I see one good weapon. Calvin Ridley's back. ETN. Damn Jaguars out here, basically. Uh, Cameron Jordan was great. Diablo with a sack. And they missed the field goal. Would the field goal have mattered? Who honestly cares, really? Not even who knows. Who cares? Uh, but, yeah, maybe it was like a momentum killer early on. Are we sitting down to watch a movie? Like, why was that so, like, the curtain's coming down now. But more morale from Von Miller. And you damn best know we're stealing their hot opponent mojo. I don't know. We're all in, our, in their heads. What? Whose heads? They lost. It's over. Or does he mean like we were all in there? I don't know. Reading's a fundamental thing, and I don't like fundamentals. Going on a bit of a championship round, it is the Bears' division matchup. 85 overall, one of the highest uh, overalls we've seen so far. And in this playoffs, the highest overall. End of the game, let's see it. 0-0. Zero 0-0. Zero. Zero zero. We usually start off pretty strong, so the fact that we didn't really score much in that first quarter worries me, but now it's starting to pick up a little bit. 14-7. to seven. Halftime, we don't get anything there, but we start the second half with a great touchdown 21 to 7 21 to 10 one touchdown would do it we are really trying to give them a chance and we have given them that chance but they're gonna run out 21 to 13 over the bears heading on to the super bowl with the lions it's what the lions should have been uh, able to say last year sorry lions fans but man that was a choke so you just out three touchdown uh to zero interceptions patrick mahomes yards are you know, decent, but the completion percentage wasn't, and he didn't really have any rushing success, although I suppose he physically did. Um, Warren is their running back, which I guess he's not bad, but looking at the receivers, you know, pretty mid-tame game for the whole squad. Ed Oliver with two sacks, a half for Buck and Miller, uh, and then in kicking, you know, clear, clear as day. Really just a clean game of mid, it's just a mid game to see. But it's a, a cold climate NFC North matchup, what do you expect, 50-50? to 50? If you're going to a game in Chicago between two rivalry, you know, rivals of the NFC North in January, and you're expecting a high-scoring game, what are you doing? Why are you there? Please, sir, do not hurt me. Take everything in the top drawer. Uh, but Super Bowl, who is it? Chiefs? It is the Chargers. Also, why is Von Miller wearing the number he is? Who did we draft that's the same number as him? Did he just, he wanted to mix it up? I don't know. He's like, I'm going to retire. I want to change it up again. I also wonder if Vaughn really is even retiring. I think he's just trolling, to be honest. But here is the dev up. CJ Straw with Rookie of the Year ends up becoming an 87 overall. Well, technically an 88 overall. So it is an insanely long game to play. But this decision to draft CJ Stroud over the likes of Kirk Cousins, Aaron Rodgers, Stafford clearly was the right call. As, obviously, now he's an X-Factor with 88 overall. None of them are getting close to an 88. 86 would have been, you know, like, how the hell did he even get to that type of move? But uh, Alavi with a dev up. Ferguson with a dev up. 
And then defensively, any dev ups here? Uh, Kendall Fuller, I believe, got a dev up, and that was kind of it. But let's do this thing. Let's get our you know final upgrades in, and then see if the very first ever fantasy draft speed rebuild is a success. That's a pretty damn good upgrade. One to speed, three to man. And I was thinking, I was like, this kind of is only like a one-off thing, though, because you're just going to get the same players every time, and your base is zero. But, you know, different picks are going to cause different draft picks, decisions. The only problem is the first round is going to be pretty similar, right? Like, why would you go with anyone, if you're outside of the top, like, 5 to 10, with anyone but, like, Stroud, you know? So, the quarterback would get a little repetitive, I can't lie. But we'll see. Maybe we add the time so I can... I'll uh, make a better decision. Not better decision, but a different decision, I should say. Maybe go wide receiver in the first round and then take, like, Anthony Richardson before he goes later on. Uh, but so far, second half looking pretty good. One touchdown could do it the way they're not scoring. They do get the touchdown, and just like that, this is a tied game. Three minutes left, though. We regain the touchdown lead. The Chargers driving down. Won't get it. And, yeah, the very first ever... Fantasy Draft Speed Rebuild results in a Super Bowl win. That is definitely something. A little surprised the receivers are good enough. Obviously, like I said, is it the overalls or is it the scheme? You know, Ferguson put up probably the best wide receiver, or maybe the second best, top three tight end numbers in the league, despite the fact that he was not a very good overall player. What value would I have gotten if I would have went with Travis Kelsey like I thought about for a second? Probably not a lot, right? But... Is it that overall, or is it really just the performance? That's all that matters. I don't know. I don't know behind you know the scenes of what determines the sim, but one thing I can say is those two guys are literally twins. What the hell is going on there? But we've won the Super Bowl as the Detroit Lions. By the way, that kind of reminded me of some, but my inability to remember to set captains in the Bisons franchise, which the season like just ended, spoiler alert, is kind of wild, no? Is it not kind of, like, ridiculously, like, sad that I just can't remember things? CJ Stroud, though, did throw that pick, but he was amazing. Mixon was really good. Uh, Josh Jacobs was terrible in general. Ferguson, speaking of, was great. Jawan Jennings, we did kind of see that in real life. But uh, Jacobs, 58 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Olave, the touchdown, a bunch of different guys, like, 50-ish yards. Sacks and Wosu for the Chargers, uh, killing it. Chris Jones, two. Zach Allen, one and a half. Buckner and Milano with one. Half for Cooper. Pick for Maddox. I mean, you look at, you know, the defensive stats, and you're thinking, how did the Lions win? Well, I don't care, because we did, damn it. No need to look at who uh, Super Bowl MVP was, because, well, it's obviously Stroud. There was no one even remotely close to him. Jake Ferguson, maybe, but just didn't compare but uh, I will show you guys that we didn't, like, force any wins. If anything, realistically, if we're being fully transparent here, I should have wanted to lose. Because with that win, it's like, if there's not much variety, well, the challenge, the only challenge would be to win the Super Bowl. And we've kind of done that. But uh, it is what it is, you know? We just play it how it lies, and things happen. One last hurrah we're going to see. Is Von Miller gone? Is he actually retiring? Choking me up as it is. World champs! Can't ask for a better ending to a career. Uh, it says he ends his career in super in like storybook fashion, but but like when's when's if he doesn't do that? Like when's if he decides not to do that? Like can we can we maybe choose not to do that? Either way, Dean is an 86 overall, so I'd love to see the retirement. Zeitler. So we lose our right guard. Morgan Moses is still here, which is I suppose pretty clutch. And then defensively. You do lose Von Miller, and you lose Cameron Jordan. Wow, you lose some talent. Even Harrison Smith is still here, surprisingly. Same with Wagner, but let's see the official names. There might have even been more that I just like forgot about or something, but Cameron Jordan going with him is kind of crazy. Von Miller, Cameron Jordan, and Kevin Zeitler. It's like the whole... Whole time, Von Miller is like retiring. He's like, oh, we got to win it for him. Von's going to retire. Let's do it. And then Cameron Jordan, who's played longer, is like, you know, I literally said that I was also retiring, right? Like, you, you do realize that, uh, you know, you're losing your whole damn edge rush. Sayonara. But uh, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this one, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new, do a ton of franchise stuff, rebuild actual franchise, you know, start to finish. Um, 
If you're not new, really do appreciate your support on the channel. Maybe follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care. Second channel, PKR Plays, where I'm out of content. If you guys have any suggestions, kind of, you know, this isn't like a crazy suggestion. Like, oh, he has just reinvented the damn wheel. We are driving on triangles. Although I think that's already technically a thing, right? Like they have like snow trucks or snow removal things that have like triangle track wheel. I don't know where this is going. But let me know in the comment section below. I'm always looking for new ideas. And if I use one of your ideas, I'm going to shout you out. I will say I'm going to be 100%. You know, it's scout's honor. Never was a scout. Didn't want to be touched. But if I use someone's idea and I don't shout you out, I genuinely thought of it on my own i genuinely did even if you said it before it sounds shady and stupid but i have no reason to lie so i'm just saying that because i don't want someone to be like he scammed me i said that weeks ago it's like i'll promise you if i see it i'm literally just because i will forget everything i am going to write it down so if i use an idea that is you know i see from one of you guys i will shout it out but if i use an idea that i don't shout out it's because i see i thought of it in my head didn't see it in the comment section below. Shady as hell. What can I tell you? But maybe I'll just pin your comment. I don't know. Regardless, thanks for watching. Other guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya.